The family of the late Brian Cruz has taken a devastating blow as one defendant has been acquitted of charges stemming from the death of their loved one. PNC's Jolene Tovis has more. Brian Cruz's family was visibly upset as Alberto Castro smiled and gave the thumbs up in court this morning. This is in response to Superior Court Judge Michael Berdalio granting a motion for direct verdict on the charges against Castro. Again, the court finds that uh, a reasonable juror would not be able to conclude that uh, any physical evidence was tampered with, uh, with the specific intent uh, because it is a specific intent crime to uh, avoid the discovery, apprehension, or conviction of Mr. White. This means the charges of kidnapping and hindering apprehension have been dismissed, and Castro is a free man. As for co-defendant J.C. White, the defense rested their case. After one day of witness testimonies, both parties provided closing arguments. The people in closing focused on three elements that govern White's reckless behavior quote, alcohol, frustration, and carelessness, end quote, according to prosecutor Jeremy Kemper. Mr. White didn't mean to kill his friend, but that doesn't take away from the seriousness, the criminality of what happened. Actions have consequences. In this case, Mr. White killed his friend. Kemper also focused on the evolution of the story, citing that before White was accused, he allegedly told police that he was too drunk and didn't remember what happened. One year later, Kemper says the story changed, citing that White's actions were in defense of another, Richard Rigatio. But Kemper argues that the punch was, quote, the punch that killed Brian, end quote. But Randall Cunliffe contends that the evidence, quote, cannot be seen in a vacuum as the prosecution would like, end quote, and redirected the jury's attention to the behavior of Cruz, calling it, quote, radical, end quote, stressing that his client in no way intended or knew that punching Cruz would result in his death. We have boxing, we have MMA, they're allowed to do that. Why? Because it's not a substantial risk that somebody punches somebody, they're going to die. We allow people to do that in day-to-day -day life. Further pointing out that during jury selection, the jurors were asked if they had ever been in a fight, and a number of jurors responded that they had been. While the defense did not deny the fact that White punched Cruz, Cunliffe did stress that the punch was not what killed Cruz. He highlights the testimony by medical examiner Dr. Aurelio Espinola, which he says clearly stated that the punch did not kill Cruz and instead was, quote, a superficial injury to the lip, end quote. With all the evidence before them, the jury must now deliberate and come to a unanimous decision about the fate of J.C. White. Reporting for PNC News, I'm Jolene Tovez. Well, this just in, in that very same story, a verdict was reached late this afternoon on the co-defendant J.C. White. A jury found White guilty of aggravated assault, but not guilty of manslaughter and negligent homicide. Meanwhile, attorney Randall Cunliffe declined to comment.